Street Analysis Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 13, Network Cabling. Content of this video is Types of Networks. So there are six types of net, uh, network cables. One is coaxial, twisted, fiber, USB, serial and parallel and Ethernet. Among the six, in the previous video, you have learned coaxial, twisted pair and fiber optics. So in this video, you are going to learn USB cables, serial and parallel cables, Ethernet cables. USB cable, the full form universal serial bus are used to connect keyboard, mouse and other peripheral devices. But there are some special network devices used to connect the internet through the USB called dongles. So this is the dongle. It looks like a pen drive but easily it can use to connect with the internet. I hope many of the students are using this type. The dongle is a small peripheral device which has a com compatible of mobile brand broadband with a slim slot in it. That means uh, Previously, it was a modem, big device, but it is a very small, compact device now, nowadays. Connects the internet and acts as a modem to the computer. So, these are some varieties in the USB cable. It is said to be A, this is B type, and the micro B type, this is micro USB, this is mini USB. So, you have using the a charger cable along with the cable for the mobile so each mobile also having different type so these are the types of USB cables then serial and parallel cables in early earlier in 1980s to 1990s the Ethernet uh, the, and the USB were not developed so previous the in, before the introduction of uh, Ethernet and USB they used the parallel and serial here there is a cable and this is the port where it should be connected then the serial and parallel interface cables were used to connect the internet to the system uh, they were sometimes used to for pc to pc networking also before the usb emerged the system will have both serial port and parallel port so the serial port will send one bit at one time whereas parallel port will send 8 bits so it is parallel parallelly it is able to send the bit parallel cables are used to connect to the printer and other disk drives so rs232 it's a famous number is one type of serial cable also known as null, null modem cable so this is the rs232 cable why it is null modem cable because used for interconnecting two computers without modem so without a modem the cable is easily connect a device so it is also a null modem cable the cable interconnecting two devices directly is known as null modem cable it may ask for two mark or one mark question ethernet cables ethernet cable is the most common type of network cable mainly used for connecting computers or device at home or office so today the 20 20k kids 2000 kids are seeing the ethernet cable this cable connects via device within the local area for sharing resources and accessing internet the crossover ethernet cable is an example of null modem cable so in the next video you are going to learn in detail about the ethernet cable so uh, there you will understand what is crossover just have an idea crossover ethernet cable is said to be null modem cable then this cable is used to join two pcs or two network devices of the same type so this cable is to here uh, sophisticated ethernet cable used to connect the internet to the system so this is the ethernet cable this cable works at a speed of 10 gigabytes per second ethernet crossover cable is identical on both ends that means it looks similar at the both end so nowadays routers are being connected through the crossover cables so it is a router so the router can be connected with a modem and many devices 
So router is being connected through the crossover cable to provide wireless network from local area. So if a, a computer lab or office is having many computers, so they will use a common router device and they will share the internet connection among them. So we have learned three things. One is USB, another one is serial and parallel and another one is ethernet cable in this video. That's all for this video. Thank you. Have a good day.